So my rookie year, 2005, was the very first year that they implemented the dress code. Mm. My rookie year. And I, I'll never forget it. You know, like, you used to see all the older NBA players and stuff. They walking into the game with a big white tee on and a do-rag and all that stuff like that. That was part of the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? In my rookie year, everybody, they was like, this dress code. It's like, what? What? We got to wear what? I remember yeah. that because Melo would have had a big baggy suit and everybody would be like, man, this is going to be terrible, <laughs> man. But you know what? At the time for us, it, it was cool. Like, you know what I mean? It was cool. Like, I remember my rookie year, uh, couldn't wait to find a Louis Vuitton store to get me a toiletry, toiletry bag, oh. all that different type of stuff, you know. And what Court said was true. It's a group of, of women, like all guys, different stylists that really sort of, you know, came along with all of us and sort of taught us and, and sort of got us, gave us a chance to decide what we like for ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, and just opened us up to different things that we didn't know at the time. You know what I think is great? I feel like I've been successful because all of the guys I work with have a really distinct look. Now's when you name drop them. All right. So, um, like Kevin Love, he's a really classic all-American guy. He doesn't look like Chris. Chris doesn't look like him. DeAndre Jordan, he's really bohemian. He's got that Jimi Hendrix vibe. When and you it's go fun shopping for, for those, like, do you have to go to a place yeah. to get special <laughs> pants? Yeah. It's interesting. I feel like a lot of times people overestimate their size because they're seven feet tall and almost there. But a lot Big of times they not can, off the rack now. No, I mean Big his. Big fella not off the rack. His, DJ is not off the rack. Some of it is off the rack, but most of it's custom.